Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another weekly episode and we're getting close to 200 here. What is this, 199? Pretty crazy. I don't have anything crazy planned for 200 guys, so I'm sorry, but uh, I don't know, maybe we'll come up with something. Anyway, got a few things to show you. Um, the world is still a crazy place out there. Um, today is Thursday, by the time you see this is Saturday. Um, Things are a little nuts still, but I don't know. For some reason, I have a little bit more optimism about what's going on. I can't really explain the feeling that I have, and this probably isn't the place for it to discuss that kind of thing, but there's something, I don't know, something I feel inside that I think, I don't know, maybe things are going to be all right. All right. Anyway, I did get some really cool die cast. Uh, starting with, I got this in the mail. <laughs> Well, how the honk are ya? That came from Dano, Dan Winchell, who does the Roverland YouTube channel. Check him out. He does everything diecast Land Rover. You would think, how can you base the whole channel on Land Rovers? But holy buckets. He's got a lot, of, a lot of different die cast, a lot of stuff, a lot of Land Rovers, a lot of Land Rovers to show. He's got the great voice for radio, so go and check out his channel. He just already okayed this to me. He's actually uh, local to me, sort of. He's a, uh, he's from the same state, so. So shout out to you, Dano. Thank you very much for this. Uh, we might, we might, we might open that up in the next segment. I have two of those now. Uh, we might open it up, though, in the next segment. Well, one thing for sure we will open up is this guy right here. This is the Shuko European Classics uh, Porsche 918 Spider. And this thing is uh, awesome. Uh, this is one, for some reason, I missed when these first came out, and I ended up getting a super deal off of this off an eBay seller. So... Couldn't pass it up, and finally I got it added to the collection. So that's awesome. And then I got three auto art cars. These are awesome. Um, two Mustangs and one Ford GT. I already have this Ford GT casting. I've got it in red, and it's absolutely awesome. I had to get it in yellow. Um, and then I got these two Mustangs. I got these actually fairly inexpensive, uh, shipped all together, so happy with that. Can't wait to check those all out. They are sweet. I love auto art stuff. Some of the castings are you can still find for kind of inexpensively, but uh, the uh, there's some Porsches and stuff that are really tough uh, to find cheap prices on them. And they don't do 164 scale anymore, really. At least I don't think they do. So some of the older stuff, I mean, it's been out of print for a while. Uh, I was looking to see if there's an obvious date on the bottom here. Um, yeah, sorry, there's not. Uh, so, can't really look at that. I was able to, on a run for essential supplies to my local Walmart was also able to snag some of the latest Matchbox. And man, this case has some goodies in it. So the 95 Nissan Hardbody, uh, the 85 Porsche 911 Rally, the Volkswagen Beetle Convertible, uh, the 2014 Range Rover, the Audi R8, the 2018 Ford Mustang Convertible, the 63 Austin Healey Roadster, and the 76 Honda Civic. Really cool. All right, so uh, we'll open up these, I think, in the second segment. We probably will, because we don't have too much else to look at. Just a fantastic, I think these are all in the same case for Matchbox. I like what Matchbox is doing right now, especially with their distribution. And honestly, I haven't had a hard time, and normally I do. Normally it's tough to find the, the new models and you could easily miss them. Um, this time with the way that they're kind of releasing the cases, um, it seems like everybody's getting what they want, at least in my local area. So 
if you don't hit them the first round, you'll get them the second. And, and Walmart seems to be getting a steady stream of them, so it's pretty easy to actually get the good models. At least it has been for me so far. Uh, next is this guy. I had to pick up this. I'm a Knight Rider fan. You know, Kit. Kit's a Firebird. I'm a Firebird fan, so that's like double whammy. And then I never had the version of the Super Pursuit mode. This is like a re-release of the Super S Pursuit mode. I know it's been released in uh, Retro Entertainment series. Of course, this is Replica Entertainment. And uh, so I had to get a version of this. So I'm excited to open this up and check it out. Never had one of them in my hands loose. We'll go ahead and open that up in the second segment. And then I got some stuff. This this stuff actually Todd gave to me. My buddy Crazy Todd gave to me a while ago, and I haven't just got I just haven't got around to showing it. Um, and I showed some of it I think in a previous video, but not all of it. Um, he kind of like he's always looking out for me. Um, he some Matchbox Vipers. And I don't know, I'm probably not going to open these in the next segment just because I don't know which ones of these off the top of my head that I had and I, that I have and I don't have. And I don't need duplicate loose cars, so I'm not just going to go willy-nilly opening these without checking. And frankly, I don't have time to dig out the Matchbox Viper collection to check for all these right now. So we're not going to look at any of those in this next segment. Sorry about that. Uh, one thing we might look at, though, is this 1996 Pontiac Hearst Firebird Racing Champions. This is a chase. Uh, the thing has gold rims, so this is like a gold strike chase. Pretty cool. So maybe we'll open this up. Kind of anxious to kind of look at that black Firebird. Uh, hopefully that'll it'll be cool. Um, and then just a couple Hot Wheel or another Matchbox, Matchbox Beetle. This one I think I might already have. And then this uh, GMC Motorhome shuttle thing. I don't know if I already have this or not. So this is gonna have to, I'm gonna have to check on that too. And then two oddball things. We got a Road Champs Firebird. Or road machines, road champs, yeah, road champs, road machines. Firebird. Not sure if we'll look at that either. And then this fast rolling pace setters, uh, Porsche 959. This weird thing. This thing's kind of interesting, actually. It has, um, this I could do in a free the piece Friday, maybe, so I can talk more about it. Um, but it's got lens detail in the back and it's got opening doors kind of interesting kind of weird kind of whatever so I'm not sure what we're all going to look at in the second segment this might actually end up being a short video maybe um, we'll see so go ahead and stay tuned uh, definitely going to look at the auto art stuff I'm excited for that we're definitely going to look at that Shuko you know what the heck let's crack open that uh, ultra red truck Let's just do it. Uh, let's get them open. And then uh, let's maybe look at the Matchbox, the Hot Wheels, and maybe this Chase Racing Champions. That, that might be it. But you just have to stay tuned to find out. Okay, let's start by looking at this Ultra Red truck from Dano. But of course, first, we got to open up the regulars, right? I don't have the regulars loose yet. So um, let's start with this guy right here. Of course, limited to 11,020 pieces. Quite a few of these out there. Pretty interesting information here on the side. Uh, really cool that they made two rare trucks. Which, funny enough though, they're, these are rare variations of the actual trucks in real life. But these are the most, are the least rare um, Auto World Chevy trucks that have come out so far. Being that there's 11,020 of each one. So, fun little fact for you. Uh, just awesome, super cool. You got a little missing white line there on the tire. Not a huge deal. Um, truth be told, I have a lot of these Olympic edition ones. Quite a few of them, anyway, and uh, they're super cool. So, just awesome. 
definitely fantastic definitely dig it and just a cool truck so yeah so there's your version a and of course the version b is the bonanza c10 fleet side again a rare truck in real life but this version is limited to that 11,020 or whatever it was bicentennial super cool it's awesome and I think there's gonna be another set of trucks in the next release too so when we finally see that uh, 2020 release too uh, we'll see another set of Chevys for sure in that release then I don't know if they'll give it a break for a minute or not uh, we'll see but they've been releasing quite a few of these so far you know including uh, Mio exclusive and all that so and then here is the ultra red so the ultra red it isn't super rare from ultra red you know it's still three percent of the production line uh, but that would be 22,040 three percent of that is how many of these there are so as far as ultra reds are concerned uh, since they've been numbering cars this is probably the least rare ultra red so far it doesn't make it any less cool. It's a chase car, and it's awesome. It's an ultra red. You guys know I'm an auto world completionist, and I collect these. And this one actually is really interesting. Like, at first glance, people, I'm sure, thought it was just a plain old red. Uh, but it takes the traits, of course, from the version A car. So you get that other color red on the hood. And then, of course, the stripe across the side. It actually makes it quite interesting. And the ultra reds in this series have a, a white interior a ultra red base so that's what to look out for there is a tricky one in the series that is the ford f-150 that is basically its standard color is basically this color um it's basically ultra red but it's not if it's got the standard i think black interior and uh, just regular metal base so you find one with a white interior and that ultra red base then you know you've got a chase this one tailgate there you go yeah, it doesn't want to stay shut that's okay I actually know how to fix that and I will do that eventually here let's see that bumper is bent down just a little bit anywho all right so that's enough of those really cool you guys know I'm a huge auto world fan uh, next is this Shuko and I forgot to pre-cut this one uh, which normally I prepare a little bit better so we're gonna have to just bust out the scissors here now these are only limited to 2400 pieces and you know the more I look at Shuko and the more Shuko I get in my collection the more Shuko I want in my collection I don't have all of the releases that the, all of these Miho releases I don't have all of them and I almost kind of want to make a run at just getting them all even though there's some some castings that I'm not really caring about, like the VW buses and stuff like that, uh, I should just go and get them all because they're limited to 2,400 pieces. I don't know. It's not necessarily that they're going to be rare uh, later on. There's also chase cars for these, by the way, as well. I don't know what it is if it's two or three percent of the production. Don't really need to technically go after all of those. But all of the regular releases, they're pretty awesome. And this Martini Porsche is no exception. If you watched my 10 Car Tuesday episode from this last week, um, I did a 10 Car Tuesday episode on Shuko, uh, where I purposely left this one out because it was the 11th car. And uh, I kept it to the old boxed Shukos, not the Miho exclusive stuff. This is a beautiful car ultra fantastic oh, of course it's going to have some sort of tire issue and actually that is an issue uh, see that there's actually pieces of the tire missing um, which is rectifiable by just flipping the tire around now you don't see it it's on the back side of the tire now and those are really really soft rubber tires holy 
crap. Awesome car. Fantastic. Awesome. Glad to have it. All right. Sticking with premium die cast, here is the GT, the Ford GT that I had in my or have in my collection, not had. And uh, in red. And then we're going to look, of course, now at the one in yellow. This auto art. These are the, the auto art 164 scale stuff. The ones with rubber tires and lens detail, which I don't know if all of them have that, um, are some of the nicest 164 scale die casts you can possibly get. Uh, they're screwed to the base. Some of them are very, very expensive, uh, like the Bugatti Varens, which they have three different colors of that. And I actually have two of the three, luckily, in my collection. Um, which I'm lucky to have and they're absolutely amazing and there's some Porsches that are expensive too this one is just sweet so they're plastic based uh, metal body but just the details are absolutely fantastic the uh, the wheels look great everything about these cars look great lens details inserted details back there for the taillights as well um, if I had to pick between the two, I'd still stick with the white one, but I just had to get both colors. It was only available in these two colors, or ever made in these two colors, and I just felt like I needed, I needed both of them, just because this casting is done so, 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 so well. Just fantastic. I did a, uh, Lamley Daily post on the red one. Uh, so if you search my posts on the Lamley group, you'll find this car. I took some pretty cool pictures of it that I actually originally posted on my Instagram a long time ago, and then I re-downloaded them and posted them to the Lamley blog. And you can check them out there. But, uh, yeah, this car is definitely worth worth having. And you can still get this Ford GT as one of the cheaper ones that, that is available. So... Highly recommend it. Uh, next up, we're going to take a look at these two. I got two different colors of this one. Um, yeah, and I think the seller that had these did have these open. They just saved the package, so I'm not really freeing the piece on these because they've already been opened, I'm pretty sure. Especially since this one was in the box like this. When there's the writing. So 2005 Ford Mustang GT 2004 Auto Show version. So screw to the base again. Two screws that are easily removable. And this thing is pretty sweet too. Just put this box back here. I'm sorry. Okay, so plastic base again, metal body, beautifully done paint, lens detail up front, inserted detail, and inserted detail in the back. Not my favorite Mustang, but I'll tell you what, this is a great replica of it. Tan interior, that looks really good. We're going to go ahead and just get right into the lime green one. Same tooling. If I can get it open. This one's tough. There we go. Uh, so, yeah. If you can find these guys, like I said, if you can find these guys inexpensively. You know, I almost don't want to encourage anybody to search because I'm actively looking for these on um, eBay. And looking for affordable ones any casting that I don't have. They even make a PT Cruiser for crying out loud and I actually want it. I want to just get it. They do have some of their cars have plastic tires I should warn you. Uh, but even the ones that have plastic wheels um, and I have a Porsche actually. Hang on one second and grab it real quick. Just a real quick aside. Here's a Porsche. Auto wear Porsche. This one's got plastic wheels. But even with the plastic wheels, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it 
they look really good. And it's still got that inserted detail for headlights and taillights. Uh, they did a Nissan 350Z, I think, that also has plastic wheels. I've got a version of that, too. Oh, but look at these things. Paint's beautiful. Lens detail, soft rubber wheels. Just an excellent car. So the seller on eBay ended up having these three together and had them nice and cheap. I think I only paid like seven bucks a piece or something like that, plus shipping for each one. And uh, I, yeah, I would say you can't go wrong with that. These are beautiful, beautiful pieces. All right. So there's those. Uh, before we get into the Mattel stuff, let's do this Racing Champions Mint yellowed plastic chase. See, this is what I fear. Like, you guys that collect your stuff carded, and um, you collect it, uh, green light, stuff like that, stuff that comes in, like, clamshell packaging, is that eventually, when you're moving around and stuff like that, it may end up looking like this. Yellow. And this yellow... I should warn you, is not always from temperature, okay? Sometimes it's naturally how the plastic is made over time, it will yellow, no matter how well you treat it. It doesn't matter how temperature controlled, how not humid, how whatever, some plastic will just yellow, it will happen. You can look at a lot of vintage Hot Wheels where the blisters yellowed and stuff like that. I'm going to tell you right now, it's not always because it was in a smoke-filled home or uh, it was in a humid area or hot area. It's not always the case. Sometimes the plastic just yellows. So this is a Chase, actually, gold rims, from what I understand. It's a Racing Champions Chase. Racing Champions, I don't really collect hardly any older Racing Champions. But this Firebird is actually pretty darn cool and it seems to be in good shape uh, one thing that older racing champions did tend to suffer from too is zinc pest and you can google that if you don't know what it is uh, but essentially it is like a rot it will like the die cast you could just push on it and it will crumble not 100% sure what causes it but some impure metals will cause it to possibly have zinc pest eventually and the car will literally like fall apart. This seems to be in good shape. Pretty awesome car. I like that. Quite good. Um, the gold rims actually just fit super well with this. I think originally they were supposed to be chrome. Pretty sure this is a chase, as far as I know. At least I think it is. I, you know, and I could be wrong. I could be entirely wrong. Maybe it's not a chase. Um, I could be wrong. I don't really know. I know the original was limited to like ten thousand pieces, and I think this is a chase. But if it's not, it's not, and it really doesn't matter to me. It looks great with the gold rims and the black, and I just think it looks cool. So. That's awesome. All right, sticking with Firebirds, but going on to Mattel, let's go ahead and open up this Knight Rider from the replica. Replica Entertainment. They had to change it from Retro. The Super Pursuit Mode Firebird. That's awesome. That's just super cool. Man, if you grew up in the rock watching Knight Rider, you know, the kit was just like the dream. For a boy, you know. Or a girl, you know. In early age watching some cool T V. The dream of driving cars that will you know, could talk to you, had a personality, could do super cool stuff, could drive for you and all that. And, you know, some of that's kind of becoming a reality now. Maybe. I don't know about the personality part, but being able to drive for you and talk to you. 
that dream's becoming a reality for some. But anyway, really cool. Definitely dig it. All right. Uh, let's just take a look at some of this Matchbox, and then we'll shut her down here. This is the Audi R8. Again, I love Matchbox basic models. They are the best. They are fantastic. I like realistic models. So, of course, Matchbox is going to be where it's at. They do a really good job. This thing is pretty awesome. You get headlights. You get taillights. You get the tampos in the right places. No crazy graphics. And it looks absolutely fantastic. So, I'm definitely digging that out. Audi R8. 2014 Range Rover Evoke. This casting's okay. Uh, this is not one of my favorite castings, but it is nice. You get, of course, taillights. You get headlights. It has a plastic top. Looks pretty good. We got some packaging rub there on top. It's a decent looking model, though. Uh, let's see here. The next is the Austin Healy Roadster in a flat cream color. That's an interesting color, actually. There's no gloss to it at all. It's just a matte cream color. Very cool. It's a relatively new casting. I think it came out last year. That's awesome, though. Uh, the headlights, tail, detail. Uh, for this one, the gray base works actually really well with it. I think it looks better than if they would have done chrome. Good wheel choice as well. Man, that looks good. That looks definitely, that definitely looks good. I wonder if there's a wheel variation of it out because the card art, well, I guess it doesn't really matter because, well, maybe it does. The card art has like these spoked wheels, looks more like the real car. It would be interesting if there's like a wheel variation with wheels that look closer to that, but this looks really good. As it is, I like these Matchbox wheels. Really cool. All right, next up is the 2018 Ford Mustang convertible. I actually like this casting. I get it. It does look a little boxy, maybe. Headlights look good, though. Details on the tail look great, too. I don't know. It's not a bad looking car. The front end does look like it snubs like a little early. I don't know. It's weird. Mm, it's not terrible. And then, uh, save that one for last. Then we got this guy, Volkswagen Beetle Convertible. Not really a new Beetle fan. But I think this is a pretty decent replica. And of course, you get detail in front, and you get detail in the back, which is exactly what we want. At least what I want. Maybe you guys want something different. I like these little basic cars for a buck. You just can't go wrong with Matchbox for a dollar. You cannot. The next three are real big winners. We got uh, the 95 Nissan Hardbody, which is a new casting. Nicely done. It's got a graphic on the side, but it is appropriate for a 95 Nissan truck. The only thing that is, you know, unfortunate about the graphics being on the side, of course, we're not going to have anything on the front or back. You get two surfaces. You get one here, one there, and that's it. That's all you're going to get for, for tampo action. It looks good, though. It definitely looks good. I'd love to see a version with some uh, graphics on the front and back. And maybe we'll get that in subsequent releases. This is the first release, as far as I know, of this truck. 
and I think it's really nicely done. I think it looks pretty cool. The next one we're going to get is this 85 Porsche 911 Rally. This casting's wild. Super cool casting. I believe this is the second release of this tooling. Copyright date 2018, yeah. So it just debuted last year. So I'm guessing this is the second release of it. The first one, if I remember correctly, was in blue. And of course, I, co I collect Porsche 164 scale die cast. Just can't get enough of it. And, uh, well, sort of can, because I'm not buying everything, because there's, you could go wild on RWB stuff. And you could go not only wild, but extremely broke. Um, but yeah, this looks pretty cool. Tampa's on the side, you sort of almost get taillights. Pretty cool though. I do wish, I don't know, I wish Matchbox would just come up with a premium line. Why not? Why not do it? Metal, if you're listening, come up with some of these. I mean, you do, you do that. I mean, the super fast, I guess, is the premium line. It doesn't have to have metal base, it just has to have like full deco. Take some of these castings and bump them up to premium. I don't know, whatever. It'd be cool. And then this guy right here, the 76 Honda CVCC Civic. That's awesome. My 76 toy. <laughs> That's great. The details are fantastic. This one is not going to hang around on the pegs. This will get picked up by by the many. Um, and I found two of these. I picked up both of them. Uh, same with that Nissan Harbody. I actually found two of those, and I picked up both of those. I just wanted to have one extra for whatever reason later on in life. But, uh, yeah, really sweet model. All right, that's it. It's... Uh, Thursday night. I'm getting tired. Well, for you guys, it's Saturday. Time to wrap her up. But this thing is sweet. So again, check out my other videos. Please like, comment, subscribe. If I had to pick a winner for this episode, that thing's just beautiful. And then of course, who doesn't like an ultra red Chevy truck? That is awesome. All right. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have yourself a great evening.